Hi guys. <clears throat> it has been a very, very, very long day. Um, and it seems that we are back where we started this morning. <laughs> back in the car with this little meatball, my little misser. Mario. <clears throat> uh, started our day on the way to his eighth Cytosar infusion treatment at Southeast Veterinary Neurology. Dropped him off, went and picked up Tammy, then picked up Kinley. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> and then, of course, you guys saw after we took a two and a half hour drive to Cape Coral, her amazing adoption video, hung out there for a little bit. Then we drove back home, got stuck in some really, really horrible, horrible weather. Um, actually, the weather has been pretty nasty here as well. Um, but... Uh, dropped Tammy off and then had to run up to Boynton to get this little munchkin. So here we are now. Picked up Mario. He had his eighth infusion. He did well. Spoke to Dr. Adams, said that he handled it well. He did well. Um, of course, we're going to recheck his blood in a week. Um, <clears throat> the last recheck, which I didn't mention it this morning, but his last recheck of his blood was uh, the first time we saw some changes or some variants or some differences in levels um, from the beginning. So, um, keeping a close eye on him as always. Look to see what his blood results will show this time in a week from now. And um, if they are okay and they haven't changed again, then we will talk about um, tapering his prednisone a little bit more in a week. Again, it's all depending on what those blood results say. Um, because, like I said, I didn't say anything this morning, but uh, after his last infusion and his last blood draw, there was some changes um, in his blood results. So, of course, it's concerning because he has been holding steady this entire time, um, and there has been no changes, but because now there is, of course, there's, a, there's concern that comes up, um, I try to stay positive, and, because that's all we can do, is stay positive, right, right, yes, I love you, um, but it is still concerning, so I'm very, um, hmm. I don't want to say concerned, I'm just, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what the blood results say in a week. I am hoping it is better than the last and not worse. But with Mario and, and what we know Mario has with this autoimmune disease, we know 
it, 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 he's got limited time. We knew that going in. We knew he had a max two years. Um, he had been handling everything fantastically, actually above what anybody expected. Um, so I think we got comfortable with that. And to see that there was some changes the last time was a little jarring. So, <laughs> I know I missed you too. I missed you all day. I did. I missed you all day. Um, so I'm hoping in a week when we do his blood that um, things have tapered off and uh, stabilized. That's what, that's what our hope is. And if so, then we can talk about dropping his pred down from what it is. Um, currently he is on 2.5 milligrams in the morning and 2.5 milligrams at night. Dr. Adams wants to try to drop him to 2.5 milligrams in the morning and 1.25 milligrams at night. But again, it's all going to depend on what his blood results come back at uh, in a week from now. Um, so I am jumping on again to give you guys another quick update um, to show you that he is released from his infusion treatment. <clears throat> I'm sorry if I'm rambling. I am exhausted. It has been a very long day. And if I never see this car seat <laughs> again, I would be very happy. Um, a lot of hours spent uh, driving today. So I am exhausted. Um, and I'm just happy that he is doing okay, that he did well with his treatment today. And we are on our way back home, finally. gonna go snuggle with my kids and uh, we're gonna have some dinner and snuggle in for the night on this again rainy night it's pouring again I swear every time I'm in my car today I am hitting these horrific rainstorms um, but I did put the donate button on this video again um, because we did only raise about $300 or maybe a little bit over $300 from this morning, uh, which does not cover his treatment for today. Uh, these treatments are very, very, very costly. And like I said, this is the only thing that is keeping him here with us and keeping him as happy and healthy as possible this weekend. This is something that we need to do and it is costly. So I am begging you all to please donate. The donate button is listed on this video. Um, also the PayPal link and the mailing address is there as well. Hi. I know, honey, I know, I missed you too. I missed you too. Why don't you get my hair in your mouth? So please guys, please donate towards Mario and his ongoing care so that we can continue to give him everything that he needs, everything that he deserves. I know, honey, I know, I know, I missed you too. It was a long day, it was, it was a long day. Are we gonna go home and get some dinner, okay? Go home and get some dinner. to be able to witness that in person 
her getting her home and her perfect family worth it all. Um, but I did, again, wanted to jump on because we did not cover Mario's treatment for today. So I wanted to just put the donate button up on there again and please ask you guys to donate towards his ongoing medical care so that we can make sure that he gets everything that he needs. Right, buddy? Right, buddy? Yeah, I know. I know, honey. I know. I can go. Um, so, again, thank you guys so much. Obviously, I can't look at my phone because I'm driving. Um, but thank you all so much for your continued love and support of our organization, of our mission, of our babies, and of everything we do. And personally, thank you for supporting this little guy right here, who is so very special. And we know his medical is very expensive but we believe he is worth every single penny. So please donate if you can. It is an ongoing medical case that we are going to continue with for as long as he allows us. So again, the donate button is there. The PayPal link is there. Our mailing address is there if you prefer to mail a check. And I thank you all so much for following our day today from start to finish with this guy. So this is Tiffany and Mario signing off, heading home after a busy but beautiful Tuesday. So thank you all. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.